Now here's another job that we'll need doing sooner or later. A common problem on the Ignis is the tailgate harness where it goes from the tailgate to the body through this grommet. Now this will cause your rear heater to stop working or your upper brake light or your wiper and um, also that tube could get melted from things shorting out. Now it will blow a fuse theoretically on the car but we did have a problem with this car because I replaced the fuse with a dodgy Chinese eBay fuse and the fuse didn't pop again I mean, it's um, incinerated the wiring under the dash obviously could have destroyed the whole car so you need to get hold of a decent soldering iron with a good thermal mass not necessarily cordless but cordless gas irons are handy so don't just cut the wires and resolder extend the loom because I think they've um, may have made an error in the design and you can do one wire at a time so you don't get mixed up you can't see the color codes clearly now in the perfect world you'd remove the harness and fix it on the bench and inspect it you'd have to drop the headlining down there's not going to be enough space in here for um, butt connectors so soldering is the only way to go I've got some cloth loom tape somewhere as well but use what you've got to hand now once it's all done taped and wrapped you can um, push it back into the harness now the convoluted grommet here um, could possibly leak so on the other Ignis I sealed it with some um, windscreen sealant at both ends just to eliminate any chances of any leaks so good luck with this job a couple of tips if you're not confident with soldering try and get hold of leaded solder which is still available and make sure your tip of your iron and the power of your iron is large enough for the job you're doing.